Hello everyone, today I'm going to review uh, a GoPro Hero 3 and it's the Plus Edition, as you can tell on the box. Um, this is the newest GoPro as of, I would say, early 2014. Um, so if you're watching this afterwards, I'm sure there's a GoPro Hero 4 or 5 or whatnot, but um, to be timely, uh, this is pertaining to uh, the early um, uh, half of the year for 2014. Anyway, um, I have never personally owned a GoPro, but my workplace does, and we are a circuit board manufacturer as well as a drone manufacturer. This is um, kind of our work lab, um, so as you can see, there's just a bunch of stuff here, a lot of drone-related stuff over there and over here, and our 3D printer over there. Anyway, uh, so sorry for about the mess. I know this little yoga mat, mat that we have here. Um, it, it's kind of fruity with the flower or these patterns, um, but uh, sorry about the mess that you may see around here. But anyway, this is a first-person uh, view uh, of um, uh, of me unboxing this GoPro uh, and giving you guys my insight uh, as to what I see and what I like and what I don't like. Um, again, uh, this is just completely um, done, uh, the, you know, by free will. I'm not paid to do this. Uh, but I kind of do this because um, I know that whenever I want to buy a product and I don't, I'm not, I'm not sure if I want to, uh, I go ahead and try to find reviews. Uh, so hopefully this review will help you out and help you determine if you do really need the GoPro Hero 3 and if it's cool enough for you. So I'm going to quickly zoom in right here um, on packaging. It looks really cool. It comes in this, uh, in this case, uh, so acrylic type case and it, you know, probably weighs about a, a pound less than two pounds or so um, so you know and it, and it seems like there's something in in un underneath here so I'm excited to kind of open it up and, and see what's inside so first off I'm gonna start off by giving you a close-up of what you can see here on the cover uh, just some images from the GoPro this is the Hero 3 Plus Black Edition and the specs are right here um, if I bring you guys in closer here um, it can do 1080p at 60 um, frames per second um, and then 720p at 120 frames per second. Um, that's really good uh, when you want to slow down video and get and still get a clear image uh, without pixelization and, and, and without it becoming blurry. So that's really cool. I'm really excited to try that out. Um, this specific Go, GoPro Hero will be going on one of our drones that we build. Um, and so we build really cool drones, so you should check out our website, dragoncircuits.com, if you're interested in those. But apart from that, sorry to try to sell you on that. <laughs> um, but uh, um, there's a 12 megapixel camera um, and a super view mode, whatever that means. Auto low light mode uh, and GoPro app with a, a remote. And the remote right there is included. And I, I believe that probably just wirelessly connects and, and triggers that camera whenever you want. Um, it says it's waterproof, which is really cool because I know a lot of people use this for sports and whatnot. Um, now, looking at the side, I'm going to zoom into the side view right here. Looks pretty cool, I guess. I mean, not much I can describe there. But other than that, and don't, and don't mind this actually, the packaging was actually flawless and, and nice, uh, but I had been holding on to this for uh, about a week or two uh, before filming this, so I kind of got uh, roughed up a little bit. Um, so anyway, this just is, a, is a chart, I, I guess, of just, uh, let me just peruse it real quick. Okay, so this is just a chart that's showing you different um, angles, view angles, and you know uh, different types of uh, displays and whatnot. I really don't care about that because I re I'm really concerned about um, how it actually looks whenever I use it. So now I'm going to move on from there. Again, the back. This is the back, and it has a little website uh, uh, at the back of it. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit more, and it says, and it just gives you some tips for best sound in high winds use blah 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 um, we'll take a look at that later uh, features obviously it's packed with uh, a lot of features for such a small camera and uh, you know, I think this is the reason why so many of these have sold and so many people use them for different uh, different uses so I'm excited to kind of dig in and check it out um, again there's an app for this that enables you to uh, view all your GoPro videos on your computer, and then there's also a Wi-Fi remote control like we discussed earlier. Okay, and uh, now to the final side here. Okay, it tells you what's included. Um, Black Edition camera, uh, which I hope is, you know, that's in there, and it is, unless that's a dummy case. Um, 
waterproof housing awesome so now I can go surfing or jet skiing or whatever without it getting damaged uh, lithium-ion battery and uh, some mounts and some hardware so I'm really excited to see what type of stuff they've given me and it says okay I guess it says it here remote quick release buckles curved and flat adhesive mounts through a pivot arm cool um, and then I can get these optional accessories um, somewhere on the internet or on the website okay so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get a hobby knife and just uh, carefully just peel off these stickers or these adhesives on the side kind of wiggle this unit out of its packaging or its covering whatever you want to call it and uh, I'm doing this with one hand so I'm gonna try to just kind of Wiggle that out, and there. I guess there's a strip here that okay that holds the top part that houses the camera. Um, okay, bear with me now, folks. I'm doing this with one hand. Other hand is holding the camera. Next time, I'll either use uh, my Google Glass unit uh, here at work, or I will use uh, the GoPro mounted on my uh, on my head or something to do my reviews hereafter. This one. Um, anyway, this adhesive is really just stuck on there. I guess they really don't want that to come off. But anyway, here it is. Got it off. And now we can pull the camera out. And again, there's a close up view. And okay, uh, what else? I'll give you a back. Okay, there's the back that I was talking about. For best sound and high wind use, 100 mile per hour non waterproof skeleton door. Uh, that's uh, if it's under 100 miles per hour. If it's over 100 miles per hour, uh, waterproof standard door. Uh, okay, cool. Um, good to know. Other than that, let's see what this graphic is. It just kind of shows you, uh, I guess, an orientation of the camera. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to see if I can pry this box open. And remove the camera at least from the top. I just don't like it sitting on the top while I remove everything. But it seems like there are some, I guess, clips here to hold everything in place. Don't want to mess with it too much. Might have to uh, actually cut off and, and um, remove it with two hands, and then kind of cut back into this interview. Or the, sorry, this review. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, you get some stickers. Cool advertising, free advertising for GoPro, and a manual. Um, what else is in here? Okay, okay, I guess some more literature, as I like to call it, uh, about the GoPro. Some stuff I can read later on. I'm not going to bore you with, with bore you guys with that. Uh, again, I think this is uh, some warranty information, which goes in the pile of paper. And. Um, not sure what this is. Seems like it's just uh, some sort of clip. So I'm gonna leave that to the side here. And okay, Got like a weird lock. Here. It's cardboard. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what this is here. I'm gonna try to zoom in, or actually just make it a little bit clear. Okay, not sure what this is, but it comes in a case, so it must be important. We'll leave that to the side. Um, again, I think this is uh, some sort of mount. I think it's part of like the pivot arm that I was talking about earlier while reading the package. Um, yep, something uh, similar to that as well, or maybe it goes with that contraption. So I'm going to leave all that there. I'll figure it all out later, but today this, this, re uh, this review's purpose is to kind of just give you an idea of what's going to be in the box and, and what you're to expect if you were to buy one of these cameras. Um, get into some cabling, um, USB, mini USB, uh, cool, okay, um, ah, you get a, uh, a key ring, um, so I guess this one is for the Wi-Fi remote, cool, so you can uh, I guess clip that remote to your color keys or whatnot, and then um, film away as you please. And sorry about the blurriness that you guys may see from time to time. I'm shooting this on an iPhone 5, and for some reason it just likes to spaz out every now and then. 
Um, this is the lithium ion battery that we were talking about earlier while I was reading the package. It's really small, um, as you can tell, it needs to be because the camera is fairly small. Um, last thing here, uh, what is this? Okay, so this is some sort of mount. Again, an accessory that comes with the GoPro. Um, so I was really hoping that there would be a suction type of mount because I know a lot of these uh, GoPros are used for uh, you know, sticking them on onto something. And uh, it's, I'm kind of disappointed that they wouldn't include that as, as a standard accessory to have a suction cup that you can kind of stick on your car or stick on your, you know, your jet ski or I don't know, just stick anywhere and, and, and kind of go for a ride. Um, disappointed with that. Um, and um, I guess I'll, what I'll have to do is go buy uh, one myself, um, which kind of sucks, but yeah, it is what it is. So just letting you guys know if you guys are expecting that, you guys probably won't get it unless there's another, um, another I guess, combo pack or something like that that may include it. I'm not sure. Like I said, I've never bought a GoPro Hero, uh, and so I wouldn't, know, I wouldn't know that right there. I know you guys are probably wondering, if you've never bought one, then what is this doing here? This actually it belongs to one of my colleagues, um, and it's, it's an older version. It's a Hero 2, and it's a lot bulkier. It's ugly. It's been damaged, but I actually have this here so I can compare it with the new sexier version which is that so now look at this versus that <laughs> so a big upgrade i think after the hero 2 there was a hero 3 and then now there's the hero 3 plus so this is actually two steps ahead of that one right there so anyway um what i'm gonna have to do right now is probably gonna have to cut off and use two hands to kind of figure this out because i don't want to damage anything here um and uh so uh, after that what i'll do is i'll just go ahead and line these up next to to each other, the, this one and that one, and we'll compare it, and then hopefully I can um, post some clips later on with uh, the GoPro Hero 3, and it'll be an ex exciting time to follow my YouTube channel because I will be co posting a lot of cool videos um, here on out. So uh, stay tuned. All right, I finally got the GoPro out of uh, the top over here. Uh, still, I don't understand. Uh, I mean, how to unclip this without breaking something it just seems like this all this is wedged on um, and, and I, I feel uncomfortable trying to pry it open um, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that on right now um, not sure not too user-friendly uh, or maybe I'm just an amateur I haven't used GoPro enough to understand how they you know mount things but this is the diagram I'm supposed to follow I followed it I had to take out this huge clip uh, in order, uh, and that was, it was sticking underneath this this part of the camera, or the housing, and uh, and then that's how I got the camera off. But for some reason, there's a plastic part here, and it's this diagram's telling me to squeeze here, and somehow the, I guess the camera's supposed to come off, but I'm not sure how um, this Wi-Fi remote control is gonna uh, come off. But anyway, just to give you a glimpse of that, on button. And, and a record button and a, and a little display. Nothing to it. Um, there's a little clip part here to, to mount um, these suckers right here, the housing. Um, so anyway, this is the waterproof housing, the clear acrylic that you see. I'm gonna try to go ahead and uh, open it up um, and see if I can carefully remove the camera. And, sorry about that. Okay, so probably gonna need to use two hands, so um, I'll do that in a second here. But uh, here's a close up of what you're gonna see here. And um, not much to it. Very, very light, very small. Um, I like it already, I'm really excited to use it. Um, I'll, I'm, I'm not gonna bother taking off the housing right now because it doesn't really matter. Um, um, but I wanted to kind of compare the GoPro Hero 3 uh, and the 2. So uh, when you really look at it, they look very, very, very similar. I mean, the displays are uh, almost identical. I mean, they're right in the, uh, you know, in the same spot, same, uh, same size. The only difference that you really see here is this part right here, this little button or whatever it is. And then the lens, obviously, this has a, a, an outer part and this is just um, very bare looking. So other than that, um, uh, let's check the thickness of the two. And I think that's where the Hero GoPro Hero wins. Even with the housing, 
it's still smaller. So you can tell that um, they've made significant strides into making this more compact um, and, and than the you know the previous version. Uh, and this just feels so much heavier and, and ancient. Um, kind of like this is the original uh, you know iPod um, that came out, uh, and this is one of the newer iPods that you see. They're all slim and, and, and really nice. So very cool. Um, other than that, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and study all this literature and I'm going to uh, remove that housing and try to remove that remote control and uh, either post a, a separate review of me using it or post it on this review. I haven't decided yet, so um, we'll see. But uh, one thing I did want to mention though before um, I kind of cut out on this clip um, and kind of go do my homework is that... Um, uh, I was kind of disappointed that I didn't see any memory cards that came with this. Um, so uh, I'm not sure if this one has anything built in, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't because everybody told me to go buy a memory card. Um, and that was actually for a good reason because it didn't, it didn't come with one. So that's very disappointing. If you're going to build a camera that requires memory, at least have some built in memory or provide uh, something at least. And um, I, think that, I think that was kind of a bummer whenever I, did, whenever I unpackaged everything. So I went ahead and got this PNY. Um, it's a 64 uh, gig um, micro SD. Um, and it'll fit perfectly into here. Uh, I bought it for real cheap uh, compared to what you would be spending um, normally uh, because I went to a place called Fry's Electronics and um, they do internet price matching and a lot of places do. I had never really tried internet price matching um, so I went ahead and um, so I went ahead and did the price matching thing and I'd never tried it like I said so I brought up three different websites that uh, had this specific micro SD card and um, luckily uh, two of them struck out. Fry said they couldn't honor the prices for two of them because the ret retailers were really small uh, and they may just be undercutting their price and, and, and taking a loss. So uh, third time it worked and uh, Amazon they accepted that price and they got like 15 bucks off of this. Um, so I suggest you guys go shop for one of these at a price matching type of place or, or obviously order it from the internet. Um, one other thing um, before I cut off on this uh, review uh, is that um, I bought this unit from Best Buy uh, for you know for my workplace, and it's uh, I don't really like buying stuff from Best Buy because <clears throat> it's a uh, it's it's a very I don't know I would like to say it's it's a very expensive place uh, compared to the internet obviously, but they do offer a warranty program, and since we are going to be using these uh, in drones and flying stuff, I'm, I'm suspecting that this will get damaged at some point. So with that warranty program, it's a one-year warranty. Buy it for forty dollars. <clears throat> you can literally bring this back into pieces, into multiple pieces, and and uh, you know if it broke, if it got ran over, and you can take those parts and just take it up uh, to Best Buy, and they'll just hand you a brand new box. Uh, no questions asked as long as you have that warranty so anyway um, uh, stay tuned for more videos uh, shot through my GoPro um, I'm gonna be shooting some really cool videos pretty soon here and I'm really excited to use this as opposed to my iPhone to film my reviews and whatnot so um, very excited to use it my first impression very nice very cool not so user friendly in terms of packaging um, but let's see if it's bang for the buck this cost about uh, I think all in all, everything with uh, taxes, um, with the warranty, and the newest edition, the GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition, uh, it was about $500. So, uh, very expensive. Let's see if it's bang for the buck or if it's a ripoff. Alright, so I had a chance to quickly um, just take everything out of its packaging. Uh, I was able to get the housing off of the camera. This is the GoPro Hero 3, this is the old one. I just put it here for comparison. But anyway, I got this off. Um, being new to GoPro, um, I, I didn't want to break anything, but it easily came off. You just kind of got to undo this, this black part here, and it comes off nicely. Um, what I did discover is that there's, there's a, they give you another door for the housing, and it has holes in it. So uh, it, 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 and for that reason, it, it makes it easier for uh, you to hear sounds and, and whatnot. So for the microphone to pick up any audio, um, use this door. Um, it has holes in it, so it's not waterproof anymore, uh, as opposed to this. This is waterproof, um, I think, up to uh, 
40 meters or something like that. So anyway, a um, couple of things that, uh, that that come with the GoPro. Uh, this is the, the remote. Um, I went ahead and charged it. I can turn it on right here. Um, and it just says remote battery and some stuff about connecting it. Um, thing is, um, they have a separate charger for it. This is it right here. And it fits into um, the, the, the back side of, of, of that remote. Um, there's another uh, uh, cable right here. Um, and it's a mini USB. Basically, this is used for charging. Um, you can pick these up anywhere if you, if you were to lose this or whatnot. So, um, some basic stuff there. Uh, this is just a clip for the mounting uh, portion. I'm not sure what these are for. Um, and so uh, we'll skip that. Uh, again, this is another mount, another mount, and um, a curved mount and a flat mount. And I'm not sure what they're used for, but I'll probably find out sooner or later. Um, before I conclude this review, kind of wanted to um, go over um, the last bit of this camera. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I should put it. But I know in the beginning of this uh, review, I said that this camera had this really cool um, cover or whatever it was, as opposed to the older, old school Hero 2. Uh, after removing it from the housing, I realized that that was just a part of the housing. And, and if you really do compare both cameras um, off the bat, they look fairly similar. But then if I were to kind of just you know, move my camera like this, you'll be able to tell that it's significantly, you know, the, the Hero 2 over here is a lot larger than the Hero 3 here. So uh, definitely reduced um, itself in size and whatnot. Um, uh, as I pick it up, it's very easy. Uh, uh, I mean, it, 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 there's not too many buttons on here. Um, so there's, I mean, this this button right here where my thumb is, um, that's for Wi-Fi, to turn on and off Wi-Fi. I believe that right there above it, uh, these three holes is, are, is a microphone, uh, or that's maybe the microphone. Obviously, this is the shutter or the record button, and then obviously the menu and settings, and with the small LCD um, uh, display here. Um, other than that, uh, you have uh, the battery right over here, and a port, um, I guess, for like a, a additional or extra um, LCD if you want to put it on here. Um, over here, let me try to pry it open here. This is where basically. The mini USB uh, and HDMI ports are, and then the micro SD. Um, so uh, uh, again, very simple. Not too many things. Um, they definitely wanted to keep this unit very, very simple and uh, user friendly. Um, this lens right here, uh, it's exposed right now. Uh, friends have told me that we can pick up something for 20 bucks um, on the GoPro website, and it's like an adapter or some sort of cover for it. Probably gonna get that, um, just so I don't want my lens to get scratched up. As I turn this on, it says Hero, and then basically um, up there it says Video Mode, 1080, which I'm suspecting that it's 1080 uh, is the quality of video that I'm gonna be shooting, and then uh, I guess battery life or some storage. So other than that, uh, this concludes my review for just the unboxing part of everything. Um, stay tuned for more videos. Uh, I'll, I'll start posting videos from this GoPro Hero 3. Um, I heard it's really cool and very clear, so um, hopefully the next few videos of mine will be very, very clear and very uh, wide-angled and whatnot. Um, also, one last thing I wanted to mention is this thing is 4K capable. Those are the next TVs that are coming into into the lineup. They're very, very advanced and this is supposed to be really clear. So this small guy right here, very light, can film in 4K. So if you have a 4K TV, you're going to really enjoy playing with this thing. But other than that, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned and, uh, you know, share this video. Thanks.